Hi, Assalamu alaikum. This is Wakash Ahmed Khan. Today, uh, this video is going to be very, very and extremely important for everyone. The topic of my video is seven C's of communication. Seven C's of communication. So please watch till end. Don't skip the video. Subscribe my channel. Share my video. Tell you what are seven C's of communication. I mean, what are the seven rules of communication, right? Number one rule you can see below completeness. Completeness. The message should be complete. For example, it must include all the relevant information is required by intended audience. The complete information. Uh, the complete information gives answer to all the questions of the receiver and helps in their better way to make decision in a good way. Number two, conciseness, right? Conciseness, the message should be concise or precise and to the point. The sender should avoid the lengthy sentences and try to convey the subject matter in the least possible way. The short and the brief message is more comprehensive and helpful in uh, retaining the receiver's attention. Number three, con consideration. The sender should take into consideration the receiver's opinion. I mean, uh, the one who speaks, he should listen to the receiver as well. And the one who uh, listens, he should listen to the speaker as well. Well, uh, in order to have an effective communication, in order to communicate, the sender must relate to the target recipient and be in, in to be involved in them, right? Number four, correctness. Correctness, the communication should be concrete, right? Uh, I'm sorry, that is concreteness. Number four is concreteness. Concreteness, which means the message should be clear and particular such that there is no room for any confusion, right? All the fact and the figure should be clearly mentioned in the message as so as to the subordinate to whatever the sender is saying. Number five number five right below number five clarity the message should be clear and easy to understandable to the recipient the purpose of the message or communication should be clear and then only the receiver will be sure about that what you are talking about right the message should em emphasize the main information that you want to convey to the receiver well number six is courtesy Number six is courtesy. Well, it implies that the sender must take into the consideration the both feeling and the viewpoint of the receiver such that the message is positive and the focus at the audience. Well, number seven. Now, number seven is very important. That is correctness. Your message should be correct. I mean, no grammar mistake, it should be clear so that the, the receiver can easily understand what you want to convey them. Well, make sure that there is no grammatical or spelling mistake. Also, the message should be exact, well timed. The correct answer have a greater impact on the receiver and or the correct message have a greater impact on the receiver at the same time the may the morale of the sender increases with the correct message so now that's all i have conveyed the seven communications way right i hope that you will subscribe my channel and you will like my video thank you very much this was vakasan bye bye take care